Construction workers are continuously exposed to noise from tools, equipment, and machinery. In addition to causing hearing problems, noise reduces concentration and increases stress, irritability, fatigue, and the risk of accidents. Exposure to very loud noise can result in temporary hearing loss. It's unpleasant, but your hearing can go back to what it was before. But continuous noise exposure, little by little, and over time, results in irreparable hearing damage. Beware of noise exposure, as occupational deafness can sneak up on you. There are certain warning signs that the noise level on the job site is too high. The noise level is too high when it's difficult to clearly hear everything another worker is saying, when you're often asked to repeat yourself during a conversation, or when the noise drowns out important warning sounds such as an alarm, a backup signal, or a worker in need of help. The best way to protect yourself is to reduce noise at its source to a minimum or eliminate it altogether. Construction work schedules should be properly planned so that you can avoid having too many trades on site at the same time. This way, you don't end up with added noise in the same place. Whenever possible, noise sources should be moved away from the work area. Avoid creating resonance chambers that could amplify the noise. For example, don't operate a compressor inside a trailer. To reduce the sound of noisy equipment, use reflective structures or absorbent materials. Otherwise, move the noise source. It's best to use battery-operated tools instead of electric or gas tools because they're less noisy. Old and damaged equipment generates unnecessary noise. It must be maintained and optimized. When equipment isn't in use, always turn it off. Anyone who is exposed to high noise levels must be equipped with proper PPE. And they need to use it. If you use disposable earplugs, make sure to insert them properly. With clean hands, first roll the plug lengthwise between your thumb and index finger to reduce the diameter. Then, with the opposite hand, pull your ear up and back and insert the plug slowly without too much pressure. Don't bend the plug in half or push it in too far. Hold the plug in place for 30 seconds to allow the foam to expand. A good way to test the fit is to cover and uncover your ears a few times. If there's no change in your hearing, the plugs are properly in place. Disposable earplugs are single use only. They must be thrown away after each use. So, if you need to wear hearing protectors often, it's considerably more convenient to wear reusable earmuffs or earplugs. Choose the type that's most comfortable and easy for you to wear. In short, the best way to protect yourself is to eliminate the noise source, use battery-powered tools, reduce the noise produced by equipment, cut down on noise exposure by moving the noise source, and wear hearing protectors. And remember, no matter the hazard, proper planning is always the first step. If you have any questions or need advice, Office Advisors are always here to help. <laughs>